Hello veggie growers and welcome back to another episode of Becoming Self-Sufficient. I'm Josh Davey and today we'll be looking at a few rookie mistakes you might be making with your veggie patch and how you can avoid them to ensure you get the best growth. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. If you're new to becoming self-sufficient, head on down, click that like button, also hit the subscribe button because I'd love to have you a part of this journey. Also, if you would like more regular updates, head on over to my Instagram account at becoming self-sufficient because I post on a daily basis. Well, let's get into it guys. And the first thing I wanna talk about and probably the most important rookie mistake a lot of vegetable growers make is overwatering. Our plants want to survive. They want to thrive and we wanna take care of them. It's only natural. But a trap that we often fall into is watering too regularly. Now there's two ways we really should be watering our plants. If they're in pots, we want to water more regularly, but a lot less. So we wanna water maybe every second or third day, just in small doses. Because if we're giving our plants that are in pots a big soaking all the time, we actually run the risk of washing away all of those vital nutrients that are kept in the soil. So small amounts of water every few days is better recommended for vegetables growing in raised garden beds or in pots. The second way you want to water is if your vegetables are planted directly into the ground. When we do this, we want to water once a week, but thoroughly. Give the plants a good soaking. You see, because soil in the ground will hold on to that moisture for a much longer period and the plants will be able to draw on that as the days go by and the soil starts to dry out. Now, the key reason why we only wanna water every other day in pots and every, and sorry, not every day, but once a week for plants that are in soil is you want your plants to have a nice, strong root system. When you allow the soil in the pots or the soil in the ground to dry up a little bit, your plant's roots are gonna shoot down deeper into the soil and they're going to establish themselves much better than if we're watering regularly. And we want deep root systems. That's how the plants are gonna be able to draw in as much nutrients as possible. If we're watering too regularly, the roots will stay shallow and at the top of the soil. And if we forget to water or we go away on holidays uh, or it's a super hot summer's day and the top of our soil all dries out, that's going to weaken our plants, it's going to cause stress, and they're not going to produce the crop that we want them to. So guys, be careful not to overwater. Now the second mistake I see all too often with rookie veggie growers is over pruning. We want to stay in control of what's happening with our plants. We want them to grow this way or that way, and we think we know best. But the funny thing is, guys, Mother Nature knows best. These plants have taken millions of years to evolve into the beautiful powerhouses that they are today, and they don't need us telling them how to grow. Yes, we need to prune our plants to get optimal growth when we're looking at fruiting them or wanting vegetables to grow. Yes, there is a time and a place for it, but all too often at the start, guys, we jump in too early and we wanna start chopping off limbs off plants uh, to inspire this growth or inspire that growth. But 
When plants are young, let them get established. Let them grow into all they can be and then go to town on your pruning and start creating the crop that you wanna reap. Now guys, the third and final mistake I wanna talk about that new veggie growers do, over fertilization. Again, like I said when we were talking, talking about watering the garden, these plants want to survive. They want to thrive. And we want to inspire new growth. We want to encourage growth. So as a new veggie grower, all too often I'll see people throwing on lots of fertilizer every week or so, whether it be liquid, whether it be uh, beads, whether it be organic material. Now, your plants need all of these things. There is absolutely no, no doubt that they need them. But what you need to realize is how often they need them. If we're fertilizing too often, there are a lot of plants in your vegetable garden that will actually bolt to seed. So that means flowering and starting to create the next generation. You can cause this to happen if you over fertilize. So the best way for you to fertilize, I use liquid fertilizer myself, is once every two to every four weeks. And you need to work out through trial and error, what works best in your veggie patch, uh, dependent upon where you are in the world and what your climate is like. But fertilizing only needs to take place every two to four weeks. We also run the risk of uh, burning the root system of plants or causing disease within our plants. Because once we start pumping all these extra nutrients into the soil regularly and all the time, we can cause fungal root issues. We can burn the base of our young seedlings with too much nitrogen in the soil or nitrate, sorry, in the soil. So steer clear of fertilizing every few days or once a week and push it out to a minimum of two but optimum, I would say between three and four. Well guys, that's a wrap for this video. I just wanted to make a short one about three mistakes that I see all too often with rookie veggie growers. So if you've enjoyed the video today, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.